Today we are going to be doing this style as you guys see I'm rocking something different a little bit different and this is a collaboration with Sidora Paris and we decided to do something different something funky and edgy or I should say <laughs> and um, my inspiration is from um, Drea she wore a similar look um, to one of her award shows or events or whatever. And so Dora Paris, of course, has shorter hair. So she's going to be showing you how to do it on shorter hair. So I hope you guys are ready for this tutorial. For the style, you will need a heat protectant, a moisturizer to make sure your hair is super moisturized and easy to slick down oil for a sealant so we can get that moisture to stay in your hair and also either a holding spray or edge tamer. You'll also need goodie hair bands and of course lots and lots and lots of bobby pins and this is the hair that I used I got from my local beauty supply store. I'm starting on blown out hair. I did a blow drying session the day before and then I just rocked a bun the next day to basically prep for this style. Step one is to carve out a part at the top of your head at the crown, basically in a U shape and just, you know, pull that up into a bun. And now we're going to use an edge tamer to slick down our edges. You can tie a scarf on your edges while we do this portion, but we're going to be using this hair that I got from my local beauty supply store, and I think it's called Rastafari or something. <laughs> so we're just going to cut that in half because it's super long. It's Rapunzel hair, so it's so long. And we're just going to loosely, very loosely braid this hair. And as you can see, I used like a goodie hair band to um, mark the center and also make that a little hook so we can attach that to our hair later. Once you're done braiding, start to loosen up the braid by just, you know, pulling the hair apart a little bit and now we are ready to twist our hair down because oh my fro, like this hair is so thick. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, do basically a flat twist going down the center of our head and then we're going to flip the little tail up and attach it with a bobby pin just so you have no hang time because this is going to be an illusion that we're going to add the braid onto so we don't have to actually do a French braid. Let down the top of your hair and you're going to grab a small section in the center of all this hair. Now with the Rapunzel braid and the goodie hairband as our anchor, we're going to twist this around a few times to make sure it's really secure. And to add some extra um, support, we're going to use a bobby pin to place this down. Now it's time for the fun part. You're going to flip this hair back and make sure it's nice and neat. You may need to use a brush just to, you know, brush the outer layer. And then you're going to grab the very ends of the hair and do just a two strand twist. And then you can just place this right in the middle of that braid and you can use a bobby pin to anchor that down as well. Bobby pins are so important with this style because we're going to have to use these bobby pins to really make sure that our little hump in the front is secure and shaped right. And also the long goddess braid or, you know, Rapunzel braid, we have to make sure that's really secure onto our hair because we need that illusion of it actually coming out of our scalp. We're pretty much done this style now, you guys. I'm just going to use my Carol's Darter Flexible Hold Spray from their Manoi collection to just spray on my edges and all over to make sure everything is in place and it's secure and it's cute and perfect. And yeah, I really love this style. Um, and if you need to make the braid looser, just play around with it. 
and just make sure everything is like symmetric nothing's out of place and you're just gonna love this style it is so cute so head over to Sedora Paris's page on YouTube. I'll have the link in the description box. Make sure you subscribe to her. Tell her I said hi and that I sent you. <laughs>